Hi guys and welcome to my review of Coochie, an abstract and original walking sim based around the artwork of Enzo Coochie. It's interesting and atmospheric but short and lacking in gameplay. Born in 1949 and a leading visionary in the exponents of the Trans Vanguardia movement, Coochie has produced 40 pieces of artwork so far in his career. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to have a look at his art. Coochie is a walking sim dedicated to Enzo which tries to capture the essence of his paintings in a game format. I didn't know anything about Enzo Coochie before I started playing but afterwards I did take a look at his artwork because the game was so bizarre and spirited that it piqued my interest. He seems to be a typically flamboyant Italian his art is energetic but peculiar in nature, using everyday things and objects, but giving them a life of their own. When playing the game, you will instantly notice how odd the graphics look. The clever use of basic shapes, bold palettes and brush stroke art perfectly captures the feeling Coochie was trying to portray, and although it looks quite primitive, it is a good representation of his artwork, using recognisable characters from his paintings. In certain scenes you can get quite disorientated from the mass of colourful brush strokes that act like a wall of paint, where you can feel trapped and lost. The music is a fitting accompaniment to the oddity of unusual sounds and an atmospheric feel. It's a very linear game, but you do have opportunity to explore slightly. The areas are quite small and there's not a lot of variety, but you're free to walk around them and digest the view. There are some hidden items that are incorporated in some levels that are particularly associated and noticeable from his paintings. If you can find them, they will reward you with achievements. Gameplay consists of walking through the seven different levels, usually following the direction of an object in the sky, whilst being bombarded with shapes, colours and objects. Within each area are hidden eye icons which you can collect for achievements, but they are not necessary to progress. Each level has a theme based around Coochie's artwork. The eyes are quite difficult to find and this will add some extra playtime to proceedings. Your eye count is saved for each level and afterwards you can choose any of the levels to return and find the ones you've missed. There is also an option to turn on or off the enemies. These come in the guise of skeleton heads and when approached will follow you. If they touch you then your eye count acts as your lives and getting hit will remove one of your eyes. If you lose all your eyes, you will die and have to repeat the whole level. I'm not convinced the enemies add much to gameplay, and if anything, they are an annoyance rather than a challenge. They appear in tight mazes and corridors, and are quite difficult to avoid due to the disorientation your surroundings provide. It's almost like they were thrown in to provide more gameplay, but the game doesn't need them. I played through the game with the enemies on, but when I wanted to collect the remaining eyes, I turned them off, and this is a much more relaxing experience. Coochie is an interesting experience, and a little different to your typical walking sim. It feels like an experiment rather than a game, showcasing Coochie's artwork and style in graphical format. There's not much gameplay as such, but if you're happy to walk around the imagination of Enzo Coochie for half an hour, then I could certainly recommend. But probably on sale due to its length. Okay, that's all for now. My next review will be for Before Your Eyes, an innovative game using your eye blinks as a way of driving the story. It's a polished and accomplished narrative adventure that is short but powerful and emotional. If you want to see that video, please click the notification bell. And if you enjoyed my video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks and see you soon.